right, so I think it's important to talk about why Bitcoin. I was just watching this video about Bit, uh, about the world, and I thought about it. When you add Bitcoin to and all the other little coins to a monetary system, the thing is, you're taking like when you use Bitcoin, right? You're taking away you're taking money away from what people believe in and we, we're talking about like the u.s dollar right now right it's supposed to be the most powerful um uh set of currency and uh currency in the world but when you take something like bitcoin when people start exchanging things and bitcoin uh it, it's just another system i mean it's trackable of course uh money is a lot less trackable like when you have like cash if i got a hundred dollar bill and i go spend it somewhere the only tracking they could do on me is i'm talking to government the u.s government they can track my movements like they can track me by okay i spent inside of this store they wouldn't even know what store i spent at actually so it'd probably be even harder for them to track you down but when you use something like Bitcoin to pay for things, it's a lot of, you know, location is, is involved. Um, all your purchases are tracked. So in a way, Bitcoin is a lot more trackable than cash. And I think that this is just me coming like just right off the top of the dome. I feel like Bitcoin can absolutely destroy the US dollar, okay? It can just demolish it, uh, especially if people start trading in Bitcoin. Because think about it: if the U.S. government don't get into Bitcoin, also, and other countries get into Bitcoin, how are they going to exchange weapons? Okay, how are they going to pay for, uh, you know, military goods, uh, any type of military services, like all these, um, you know, all these secret service all these secret projects that the US have going on, they're gonna to have to exchange in Bitcoin. What if they can't do that in cash? What if they can't just send transfers over? And when it comes to Bitcoin, everything is trackable on there. Every person, every company that spends or has Bitcoin that trades it for something else. A lot of people don't, don't, don't really understand that. A lot of stuff is secret because it's hard to track. Bitcoin is completely easy to track. So it, it makes complete sense that, um, you know, it, I feel like right now Bitcoin is being used for wealth transfer. It's not being, it's only left here uh, by itself to, 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 for people to use and trade and make money with because the government is trying to figure out how can they use Bitcoin. And some places have already figured out. Uh, I heard some countries like are completely banning Bitcoin. They've already figured out. Oh, if we let Bitcoin in, if we let them, if we let, if we let Bitcoin uh, take over, we're not going to be able to do anything with the public. Like they're not going to be able to hide anything. And a lot of countries, especially the ones that are controlled by, uh, by by China, I think was China one of the ones who didn't want. Bitcoin or ban Bitcoin? I believe so. I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta check on that, but it would make complete sense because then if it's trackable by the world, think about it. The U.S. will be able to see the transactions of China. China will be able to see the transactions of um, the the U.S. You know, uh, the, who's helping out what country? All that stuff is gonna be able to be tracked. It's kind of crazy when you, when you think about it. And it's like, do you really want to be track that much of course the governments don't because they think that there's stuff that shouldn't be seen by the public that um you know should only be seen by the eyes because they think they know best for everybody which of course by what we've seen with the whole uh covid thing they have no clue what they're doing very 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 interesting right so it's 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 fascinating to see what's gonna happen with this and all these different currencies and coins and all that stuff to see if they're gonna are they are they gonna how far are they gonna let this go and then i feel like there's definitely something behind bitcoin that's pushing and all uh bitcoin and all these different currencies there's something behind it uh pushing it forward because i either they know how far they can get with this before they bail out or they know that it's going uh you know or they're, or they're pushing to really take over the monetary system because even if you have 
uh, another monetary system of it's it's all about who believes in it. Like a lot of people, like oh, like the U.S. dollar is not backed by anything, and it's only backed by the belief of people in the U.S. economy. And actually, that's that's kind of the same with uh, Bitcoin. It's only it only goes up in price when people believe in it. So the value of it is also the belief that people have in it being um, a valuable uh, currency for you know the the entire world at this point, uh, except for the places that won't allow it. But at the same time, community uh, different uh, countries they can really just go to another country and just you know and, and get the bitcoin now they can buy bitcoin anywhere uh i don't i don't think there's a way for the government to stop a transaction for you to put putting your money in certain places and then you can just put your money into bitcoin and then you know if you're in china then just move to the u.s or move to whatever other country that china doesn't control so don't go to austria it's it's a shit show over there it come February is gonna be even worse, and that's kind of sad because I've always wanted to go there, and uh, you know, China took it over, and now they uh, authoritarian. Uh, they have the authoritarian regime there, and uh, I'm not. I'm a huge fan of uh, governments not controlling people. So, Bitcoin is gonna be very interesting. Uh, the the more the the higher it gets. I'm just looking forward to seeing where the the downfall of it comes. Uh, I, I don't see it like, you know, being like a top currency of of the world. I mean, with all these little coins and stuff like that that they have, uh, you know, I, 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 at first I looked at Ethereum and Bitcoin as um, silver and gold. Like Ethereum is silver, Bitcoin is gold. But uh, I don't know. It's, in, it's 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 really fascinating uh, trading things in Bitcoin, buying things in Bitcoin. Uh, I have a. I want to get. I want to get more Bitcoin. I want to see. I want to make a transaction with it, which is something I haven't done for, you know, places that accept Bitcoin for cars or Bitcoin for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bitcoin for just any any type of items that we use in uh that we use in the world uh, or in the u.s i would love to like buy a car with a bitcoin like that it's saying it seems crazy to me like oh like here i'm transferring one bitcoin to you and and thanks for the car and it'd be funny if i buy a sixty thousand car and then uh, a six thousand dollar car in u.s dollars and then the car i mean then bitcoin drops like 30 you know, like fifty percent to like thirty thousand. You like, holy shit, then you really, you feel like oh, I just like bought a car like for thirty thousand dollars. Well, you spent sixty still, but it's worth thirty. So you would have to use two Bitcoin to get it if you got it the day after. Just a fascinating concept, and the fact that people are willing to trade—I uh, call it trade—and I don't even call it buying trade in Bitcoin. It's really fascinating to me. Really, really fascinating. And I love the fact that people are are. You know, taking chance with these new things, and uh, but and I guess it kind of hurts the U.S. Uh, because it's the the U.S.'s monetary system again is all in the belief of it's all about people believing in the U.S. dollar because there uh, there is nothing backing it like when they had gold backing it, and, and I'm looking more into that and uh, into I'm watching a lot of Robert Kiyosaki and. You know, listen to him about when they took the the dollar off the gold standard and why I found out about uh you know about the the U.S.'s debt and you know the war they could have gotten into if they didn't take it off the the gold standard. It is fascinating. A lot of stuff that they don't teach you in school, which I wish they did because it'll probably make me a lot more fascinated in it than because in school I didn't care about it at all. So yeah, it's, it's just very interesting. I think y'all should like. People should really look into this Bitcoin thing, the Ethereum, uh, uh, NFTs. I haven't uh, dipped into too much, but right now I'm on like the carbon credit stocks and stuff like that, trying to figure out how that's going to change the world. Uh, and I know it's going to be big because they already put, they started putting money into it uh, at the beginning of the pandemic and they didn't tell anybody about it. But for people like me who do research and we were looking into all these new 
like stocks popping up and new companies popping up and trying to figure out, you know, there there were different um, news headlines that nobody was paying attention to because everyone was looking at oh COVID COVID COVID, which was which is really nothing. Uh, I knew that from the very beginning, which is why I was like I need to make sure I clear clean my inbox or my clearing my my mind and ears of anything that have to do with COVID and see what they're putting out there why they're they they hid behind COVID and brought a bunch of stuff out like a lot carbon credits is one some of the stocks that i bought uh during that time during the beginning of the pandemic in the middle of the pandemic a lot of companies carbon credit uh attached companies popped up and they were like trading at like six seven eight nine dollars a lot of stocks that i have right now like twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars they were forty dollars and i was buying them at nine dollars six dollars seven dollars just anytime I feel like any, and I guess it's kind of important to watch, not watch it, but to kind of pay attention to what the mainstream media does because they, I watch for smoke screens. So anytime that they're throwing up, oh, you know, we have this new variant. Oh, we have this. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, they hiding something. Let me go ahead and do my research and find out what they hide and look at some credible news. Uh, uh, sites which really none of the credible news sites are on TV the mainstream media is not credible at all the credible people are the individuals who report and go and look for the real details on what's actually going on in the world um, the mainstream media is there it's just for propaganda but they've been there so long they know people trust them unfortunately the majority of the world still watches the news and listens to what the news have to say and they don't listen to places like the hill uh which are, are a lot more credible than any of the uh mainstream media that you see cnbc cnn msnbc like you don't want to listen to places like that they are awful all right no more ranting i'm gonna make sure that y'all um I'm going to do some videos on the carbon credits just so y'all can get in before they explode and be up at $100, $200, $300. Because right now they still at, like I said, $20, $30, $40 uh, per stock. So, And actually some of the new companies that are coming out, they are already, they starting at like, again, $6, 7 8 $9. But the smoke screen of this new variant, as soon as that popped up, I was like, oh my God, something else is popping up on this end. They're trying to, they saying, they saying, look over here. And they're trying to like, they got the smoke screen up here so you can't see but the majority of people can't see what's going on in the in, in the background so yeah uh we're gonna talk about some more of this stuff later so uh stay tuned if y'all know anything going on behind a smoke screen please put it in the comments i love like real information not the stuff that the the mainstream media is is, is putting out you know any new stock companies or anything coming up let me know about them please I want to make this money.